Victorian times, people went to a lot of trouble to look at their very best for something like a formal wedding. Of course, it's much less usual now, although certainly the royal family, I'm sure, will be fully dressed for the wedding that's coming up. When you're talking about military officers, they would not want to have a single thing out of place. George, Duke of Cambridge, whose uniform we see here, inherited the title on his father's death in 1850. We see here a uniform of the Colonel of the Grenadier Guards, and it dates from the 1890s. Having decided, first of all, which uniform to wear, then the valet would have everything ready on the table by the side. Orders of chivalry are conferred by the monarch or the ruler. The blue sash is the sash of the Order of the Garter, which is the most senior British order. The stars are of four different British orders. There is the Order of the Garter, Guelph, Bath, and then there is the Order of St. Michael and St. George, made for the Duke to wear at the coronation of Queen Victoria. The garter is actually a very unusual piece of order insignia. On very, very formal occasions, this lavish gold version would have been used by the first Duke of Cambridge. The Field Marshal's baton is extremely impressive and would be carried at formal occasions. A coronet of this kind is worn by dukes. This one was made specially for the duke to wear at the coronation of King Edward VII. The final touches would have been to add the gold aiguillettes and the belt, the sword, the boots and the white gloves which we have here. I think it's fair to say there's been a very considerable element of competition and it goes so far as to the particular orders where the individuals who were entitled to wear them would compete with each other to have the most lavish versions. <laughs> <laughs>